Hey hello everyone, in today's video we will be looking at the very interesting and unusual Bulgarian lock. This is the Mauer GM Redline and it's a really long lock as you can see. First of all let me thank DQ from Lockpickers United for letting me or lending me this lock and also making a tool that he lent me uh, as well. Uh, along with some other locks that you will hopefully see pretty soon on my channel and uh, let's get into it so as you can see I did not got, got it because it's kind of difficult to do and it's not my lock and you will see why it's so difficult to get it real soon so this key as you can see goes all the way through the lock it reaches like towards here and if you look closely, what actually rotates when I turn the key is not only this part to, uh, up to the actuator, but also a little part behind it. And that's actually the whole internal part of the cylinder. This is its length, so it reaches behind the actuator. And the actuator is a part of it, so uh, that's very interesting, that's not, not common in uh, locks, usually actuator is the thing that splits the lock in half and separates the interior, uh, internal and external part of the cylinder, but here it's actually a part of the internal uh, plug. So the internal plug has 10 pins in total uh, and they are positioned like this. There's four on the bottom and four that are opposing them in here and two of two uh, two pins are like here and the front on bottom without any counterparts uh, against them or opposing them so in total 10 pins and uh, they are basically opposing each other but they are not oversetting each other if you know what i mean they are their springs are not strong enough or they're not long enough to overset the opposing pin, so at least that's that's good. Uh, so if I insert the key in here, all of the pins are in contact with the key, and uh, the internal internal part of the cylinder is turning, not the external. Uh, but what if I insert my key from the other side, the external? Sorry, I just need to extract the key. That will be a really nice. Okay, <laughs> so the external cylinder is actually really small. Basically, it's it's just just this. This is the external part, and there are only four pins in here: two on bottom and two on top. And if I insert my key in here, it works as well, and the internal part is rotating as well. So how is this possible that it's rotating as well? uh basically if you look closely the key does not reach all the way to the other side right because uh it reaches only up to these four pins and these two are actually uh further and it works because these two pins in the front they have mast wafers so there are there's wafers that rest at shear line like even without the key inserted, but there's other wafers that make uh, make them rest at the shear even when the key is, is inserted from the other side. So that's uh, an interesting way how to how to solve it. So this cut in here that's a sacrificial cut for snap attacks. So if you if you are interested, what the hell is this? So that's again snapping, and you can tell that why it's so difficult to get this lock because it's not a us uh, an, uh, usual euro, double euro that you could cut in here because you know the internal cylinder is like here behind the actuator so that's not easy to solve if you want to know more about this lock make sure you watch DQ's video because he made a nice drawing he really put his heart into the drawing <laughs> So I will link his channel in the description and he is going into a bit more detail. Uh, okay, so how to pick this lock? Well, you need a long custom flag like this one. It's a dongshi, but it was filed in here. So it fits through the whole lock or actually it fits just 
through the internal cylinder or from the external side up to the pins where are the master wafers. So that's good because if you took like a normal multi-pick, it just won't reach far enough. And to tension it, this is actual tensioner that tensions both of the cores at once. So it's I, I, I think it's just a piece of a wiper insert that's bent. And if you insert it all the way, it, it basically tensions both of the cores. So you are able to pick pins on both of these sides. Okay, so in terms of uh, the actual pins, there's nothing too difficult. There are some spools that actually come into play, but other than that, there are just standards that sometimes set themselves. Sometimes you need a bit of uh, pushing, but they're not, they're not difficult. But what's difficult is getting to them and understanding in what order they need to be set. So I think that's the biggest problem with this lock. And that's basically, that's basically it. But nevertheless, a very interesting one. Very interesting and I, I liked picking it. So without further ado, I think we can go ahead and get it picked. All right, here we go with this Mauer GM Redline Keyworks. We will start picking uh, from this side uh, with clockwise tension. So the exterior part of the cylinder is facing towards me or is closer to me and the interior one is uh, further and the interior one is actually the one we're going to start on so top pins so let's try something on one and four little core rotation and we can move to the bottom pins of the interior side super small click on one Two, three, okay, a little something out of four, and a little corrotation. Okay, three now, also some corrotation. All right, uh, let's see what's in here. Let's try the front or the exterior part. So, top pins one and two, and bottom pins one and two. Two. Let's give them a nudge just for good measure. Okay. They are sort of binding, sort of not. So I think there's still some work to do. Okay, now I got a little deep full set, but uh, now open. So as I said, or as I wanted to say, I think we still need to work on these pins on the bottom of the interior part because as I said there are some back slits and these can be quite tricky okay I think I'm getting some contraction all right we now I got a nice full set let's see these front pins again Nope, that's actually the same place where I was before. Okay, that's fine. I think I'm missing some max lift here. Yeah, there it is, perfect. So, there's the open and just to make sure I will show you that both of these uh, sides are picked. So that's pretty much it for the Mauer GM Redline as I won't be doing the cutting but hopefully you enjoyed this video anyway and catch you with the next one hopefully pretty soon. Until then, bye!